Hello YouTube, Wes here checking in with a brand new video for you. As the title suggests, these are my CD pickups for the month of April 2023. Hope you're all doing well and in enjoying yourself. And Let's go ahead and get into what I found. I did have a pretty good haul this month, so let's go ahead and share with uh, what I got. First off, I want to share with a couple of new pickups here. Uh, first one here, I did go down the, go down the uh, path of picking up the new Metallica album. Decided to pick it up on CD. I really, really wanted to get that black and yellow vinyl from Walmart. Pretty cool looking vinyl. But I was really unsure about the album itself. Didn't really, from the, you know, the singles they released early on, they were just sort of okay to me. And, you know, now after I've heard the full album, it's just an okay album. It's not, it's not the Metallica I want. I'm, I'm sad to say, I know people really seem to like this. It's just not, it's not for me. I don't, I, I want those epic instrumental and songs. And I want the, I want the slower kind of, the slower kind of Metallica that came around in the nineties. I want some of that stuff in there. And this is just like straight ahead metal, like from the beginning to end. And it's good, but it gets to be sounding samey, and that's not the Metallica I want. That's not the Metallica that I really learned to love. And I like that the, some of their, you know, '90s albums, you know, had a bit of variety to them. There was there was a bit of you know, that late '80s, early '90s period where, you know, the album had a bit of a a bit of a rise and fall to it throughout the album, and and not all the songs were straight ahead in your face aggressive songs and i that's what i liked about metallica and this is not that this is in your face metal from beginning to end and it's just it's overwhelming and it's not what i wanted so yeah i i decided you know i bought the cd just to hear it um but i don't think i'm going to be picking this up on vinyl unless i find it for a really killer price Next up, this one's been on my wish list for a while, but I did purchase it new from Amazon. This is Dynatron with their album Origins, uh, kind of an electronic artist. Well, I'm not kind of, it's an electronic artist, very cinematic, epic electronic music here. The, the, the cover kind of tells you all you need to know about this, this very heavy electronic kind of stuff here. Uh, really, really dig this, been streaming it a lot for several a couple years now since it came out um, finally decided to go ahead and pick a physical copy of it up so I picked that up from Amazon also in the month of April good month for new releases uh, we had the new one from Depeche Mode Memento Mori yeah I've really been enjoying this one a lot really solid album by Depeche Mode really really happy to see this uh, really been enjoying this one and I uh, did not again another one I didn't pick up on vinyl vinyl prices are getting way out of hand you know 40 50 dollars for a new release and it's just it's becoming it's becoming too much um, you know I first kind of got into a into collecting vinyl as it was the budget option it was the cheapest way to to get music and it's just it's it's becoming the most expensive way to get music nowadays and I, I just can't I can't do every new release on vinyl anymore like like you know there was a time when you know vinyl was still the most expensive option but it wasn't it wasn't as expensive as it is now you know new releases would be 20 to 25 dollars and then there were 25 to 30 dollars and now they're like 30 to 50 dollars or you know 35 to 50 dollar kind of range and it's just that's just that's too much for me so i don't i don't make a ton of money so uh picking things up on cd you know cds are still fairly inexpensive and i will pick them up when they're available so uh yeah the new depeche mode album awesome if you're a fan of depeche mode if you're a fan of you know the earlier period of depeche mode definitely pick this up if you haven't already i'm sure most people who are depeche mode fans have and um yeah really really solid album really good album definitely glad to pick that one up um, and then the last new thing I picked up, which this is still sealed, I have not cracked into it, even though I have listened to this, I've streamed it. This is the new album by the uh, hip-hop artist NF, and this is titled Hope, I believe. 
Yeah, Hope is the title of this one. Uh, yeah, really good, really good hip hop artist that I've learned to, that I've uh, gotten really into in the past couple of years. Uh, their, their past three or four albums and really dig NF and uh, yeah, this new one's pretty good. So pick that one up and well, I've, as I said, I've streamed it several times, but we'll get into the uh, actual CD itself at some point. Um, so let's go ahead and dig into my sort of used thrift store kind of pickups that I, that I do a lot during the during the month. And these first ones are, uh, <laughs> I kind of got down the rabbit hole of picking up K-pop albums from the, uh, from the warehouse sort of store that I've been going to uh, that I talk about that you know they, they put out all new things on Friday and then as the week progressive the price drops uh, on whatever's in the bins and then at the last day on Wednesday before they reset everything's a dollar so I've been going on Wednesdays during my lunch hour a lot and uh, a lot of times there'll be k-pop albums still left over in the bins and uh, for a dollar I'm like yeah, I'll pick them up you know I can definitely get my dollar back if I have to uh, so the first one we got here is Itzy's Checkmate. And these are always interesting. Lots of lots of photos, and this one has like a sticker sheet and a poster, and um, and then there's a, there's a, there's a CD in here somewhere. There's a CD in the back. Uh, yeah, I've I've not actually listened to these any of these yet, but I've just been picking them up up as I go through, and uh, at some point I'll get get into listening to these and decide whether K-pop is something I'm into or not. Okay, and then I got two different copies or two varieties. I don't know how, I don't know how they do these. How they say the different. This, there's always different versions of every release from these artists. A lot of times, um, so this is uh, Stray Kids with Max Ident, and I have a black and pink version and a white and pink version. And these are kind of in hardbound books. I and mean, again, a bunch of like posters and little cards and stuff in the front here. And then in the middle, we got a lot of photos of the, the you know, the band. Um, and then in the back, you have a sleeve with the, with the CD in there. Uh, so yeah, two, two variations of that release. And then we got Thursday's Child with Tomorrow Together. Uh, this one is still sealed, um, even though there was one that had been opened in the bins there. So I kind of have seen the seen the interior of this and this is you know along the same lines a bunch of posters and cards and then there's a cd and a, a booklet and stuff like that but you know the packaging on these is always pretty crazy but picked that one up and this is tomorrow together a lullaby the name game temptation as i said i've not yet listened to any of these and i don't <laughs> i don't know don't know these artists um yeah, this, this, this K-pop stuff is pretty, pretty interesting. How it's sort of become very popular, and there's the disc in the back on that one. And then this one's kind of similar. The uh, Nightmare maybe is the title of this one. If you're if you're a K-pop fan, you'll have to fill me in on this. What these are. Uh, this one has uh, like a poster and some cards and. Uh, disc itself is in the sleeve here There's some stickers again um, and then you know, as usual the book the book with lots of photos and whatnot and then the last of the k-pop stuff here um, NCT 127 I guess is the title of this one sticker sheet and a postcard um, poster this one has the, there's another poster with the sports car on it that and then thank yous 
And this one again, a booklet with lots more photos and whatnot. And then the disc is in the back. So yeah, just interesting packaging on these. I think they'll be fun to you know listen to at least once and look through the photos and stuff and maybe pass them on to somebody who's into this kind of thing. But for a dollar, I want I was curious enough to pick them up. Okay, so all the rest of these should be uh, thrift store pickups. Uh, first one we got here is uh, Tom Morell and the Time Warp Top Hands. How the West Was Swung, Volume 6, Smoke a Little of This. Yeah, don't know what this one is. Um, okay, these are from, these first ones are from the Friends of the Library sale. I recently put up a video where I did the... Uh, the 10 cent haul for, from the Friends of the Library. These are all from Saturday, so I paid full price for these. This one was a dollar. Pick that one up. And we got Alicia Keys' Girl on Fire. That was a dollar as well. Um, some organ music, uh, Virgil Fox, The Digital Fox. This is the first digital album. This is the first album recorded digitally in the United States, uh, apparently, is what makes this. Uh, important or makes this unique i guess uh, that was a quarter so i picked that one up i do like organ music and the fact that it was the first digital re digitally recorded album in the u.s kind of interesting for that respect as well from a historic thing uh, a bit of sort of neoclassical kind of stuff this one was a quarter also uh, nico muhi with uh, two boys a soundtrack they did for a i believe it was a play or some sort of opera kind of thing i'm not real cer certain but uh, seemed like some interesting music uh, i did pick up another copy of the boys in the hood soundtrack was i looked for this forever and then i've been finding it a bunch recently so i wanted to have an extra copy of it a really great soundtrack really great movie um, so that was a dollar for that one uh, we got Hall and Oates with Our Kind of Soul, so the later, more recent Hall and Oates album. Had not heard anything from them from more recently, so I thought I'd grab that and check that one out. A uh, copy of Phil Collins' is Hello, I Must Be Going. I would have sworn I had this on CD already, but I did not. So I checked my, checked my list, and I did not have this already on CD, so I went ahead and grabbed that one. That one was a dollar. I uh, got a copy of Kanye West's Late Registration. Haven't been, haven't been buying new Kanye stuff, but uh, the old, the old stuff I still love. And I did not have, uh, have this on CD, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And I think I'm pretty much complete on the, the early Kanye stuff. So Late Registration, that one was a dollar as well. I got one here from Marilyn Manson, Portrait of American Family. That one was a dollar. Uh, here is a really good find. I love this. I have this on vinyl, and I was really happy to find it on CD. It has some bonus tracks on it, um, I think. Uh, this is ABBA the Album. Really awesome ABBA album. Uh, it was a dollar as well. Really nice reissue, remaster of that. Um, Woody Guthrie, This Land is Your Land, the Ash Recordings on Smithsonian Folkways. That was a dollar. Really good. Really good Woody Guthrie stuff on there. Um, here's one I did pick up on vinyl when it was released and really enjoyed it and uh, found it still sealed on CD there uh, for a dollar. This is Banks 3, kind of an electronic pop artist. Really good stuff. Glad to find that one. Another one that's still sealed here. This is Pink's Beautiful Trauma. It was a dollar as well. Uh, I believe this is a local group, the Tone Unknown. Uh, yeah, Gainesville, Gainesville label anyway that they are on. Wanted to hear some some local music from the '90s, so I want to check that one out. Uh, Peter Paul and Mary, the album. Or just the Peter Paul and Mary album is the title of this one. Uh, yeah, you find you find often find groups like you know '60s groups that you often find like greatest hits and compilation type stuff, but you rarely find just you know single release albums on CD. So 
it's, it's cool to pick this kind of stuff up and that was uh, a buck so I went ahead and grabbed that as I recently sort of cleared out a bunch of Peter Paul and Mary stuff from my vinyl collection because it was just taking up too much space uh, on the shelves back here uh, here is one I spent up a bit on this one I paid five dollars for this uh, this is the legendary Florida folk artist Gamble Rogers and this is a live CD I do have this on vinyl but when the I wanted to own it on CD, so I paid up for it, $5 for that one. Uh, really good, really good Florida folk artist that probably not many people know about outside of Florida. Uh, Jim Croce photographs and memories, his greatest hits. I recently did sell my copy of this on vinyl um, and was able to find it on CD and replace it. So have that on CD, not necessarily anything I need to have on vinyl, and the prices on Jim Croce stuff for whatever reason is pretty high, so why not sell it? I got one here from Iron and Wine, our Endless Numbered, numbered Days. Oh, that's, a, that's one that sort of passed me by when it was new, when it was available, it's still in, still in, on vinyl, or still in print kind of thing. Uh, but this was a dollar, pick that up on CD sort of modern modern folk kind of stuff there uh, we've got the avalanches since I left you cool. I, think the, I think the avalanches are like a post rock kind of group if I remember right yeah looking forward to checking that one out Uh, Diana King, Tougher Than Love. Uh, Diana King was on the Bad Boys soundtrack with the track Shy Guy, and Shy Guy is on here. So I thought, yeah, I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear the rest of the rest of the music from this album because I, I did like that song from the Bad Boys soundtrack, and yeah, sure, why not? Go ahead and hear the rest of that album. Now we got a two disc set for the country artist John Anderson. This is John Anderson anthology, two CD sort of greatest hits kind of set. Um, it's like 30 tracks on there so pretty good collection of John Anderson stuff so I thought that would be a nice one to find speaking of greatest hits we have Bob Dylan's greatest hits two CD set in the, in the thick jewel case here uh, yeah picked that one up that was a dollar as well uh, and do enjoy some Slater Kinney this is Slater Kinney with um, the Hot Rock is the title of this one. So some earlier Slater Kinney. And the last one from the Friends of the Library, I believe here we have the Notorious Big Duets, the final chapter, some sort of post posthumous kind of stuff that they just took some stuff he'd recorded, some vocals he'd recorded and mixed them with some other vocals from other art, hip hop artists or whatever. And it's sort of, yeah, it's, it's not really notorious big stuff because it was unfinished work who knows what he would have thought of this uh, but I never I never heard this before I never picked it up when it was originally released so for a dollar I picked that one up all right how about we get into some uh, pickups from second and Charles these are from a local kind of half price book book kind of store so a little bit pricier than thrift stores but you find some interesting things there so I do go there from time to time uh, this is Pet Shop Boys with Electric. I do you like the Pet Shop Boys? And wanted to pick that one up. Next up, we got Expose with What You Don't Know, the deluxe edition. So, 3D, 3 CD version of What You Don't Know by Expose. So, lots of bonus tracks on here, remixes, live versions, whatnot. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I thought that was that was a pretty neat release. Didn't would have never thought this would have been one of these deluxe editions for this this particular album, but I, I do like I do like my 80s pop music, so I thought yeah I'll go ahead and grab that. That was 450 for that one. Uh, here's a controversial one. U2's Songs of Experience. That one was 295. Um, been finding some queer music compilations there recently, and found another one there. This is Stage One with How I Love You. Uh, so just a bunch of queer artists, queer music type artists. Um, yeah. Pick that up. Uh, Pearl Jam's by Neural. I have pretty much picked up the Pearl Jam discography just by going to thrift stores and whatnot, but I hadn't found this one before, so I picked this up. 
I think this might be a deluxe edition of it. Uh, but yeah, I went ahead and grabbed that. That one was $3.95. Um, I, tr you know, I've been a big fan of hip hop for, since 86 when Raising Hell came out. And, you know, I always hear a lot about Post Malone. And, and I've tried Post Malone in the past and I just can't get into them. But I found this one. This is um, Hollywood's Bleeding. Uh, by Post Malone, still brand new sealed. It was two ninety five, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna try Post Malone again. If I don't like this one, maybe I'll just give up. But uh, yeah, wanted to try some more, and this was this was a good price, so I grabbed that one. And the last one from Second and Charles. This one is from the group People in Planes. As far as the eye can see, I was just really attracted to the artwork on this. This is listed as indie rock. Uh, it was three dollars, and it just yeah, as I said, caught my eye, looked like something I might be interested in. So if you have heard people in planes, just let me know what you think of them. There is the there is the CD. Let's see what this next stack is. Uh, I got a stack of four here from Goodwill. Wasn't able to find ten, so they were two for ninety-nine. Um, uh, we got Muse with Origin of Symmetry. I do like Muse. So that'll be that'll be a good one to add to the collection. Uh, Madonna's I'm Breastless it's from, the, from the Dick Tracy period. So that was a fun one. And we got Blind Side with Silence. Um, sure, this might be like a UK rock group. I'm not sure about it, uh, but just looked interesting. And a CD copy of Mr. Mister's Welcome to the Real World. Uh, pretty, actually, pretty good find. Uh, these, this sells for a good bit on CD, so that was a good find. All right, these next ones I have are from the Repurpose Project. They were doing a 50 cent sale, so these were all 50 cents. Uh, first one here is a really cool one. This is a fairly new one from somewhat local uh, indie folk kind of group, The Curries. This one's titled um, This Side of the Glass. Um, so yeah, if you're, in, if you're into like the Lumineers and Mumford and Sons and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, this would definitely be up your alley. That's the Curries. So check that one out. That's a pretty new release. 2019 is when this was released. So I'm really happy to find that for 50 cents. Um, local indie electronic folk. They're listed as electronic folk. They're more electronic than folk, but it's it's kind of a good description. Very, very rich kind of electronic kind of stuff. Uh, 100 Waters is the group name. And they are Gainesville Group again. They are on the Celestial Sound label. This is their debut album, uh, self-titled. Um, so yeah, I was really happy to pick this one up. I do have this on vinyl already. I, I picked it up on vinyl years ago and really love it. Uh, but yeah, I was happy to find it on CD. I've got a self-titled here from Possum Dixon. Uh, again, been trying to pick up some, some 90s alt-rock kind of stuff, so I thought I'd check that one out. i got Live with the Distance to Here. In Defense of Animals, Volume 2. Uh, so a compilation of artists that did, did stuff for PETA, I believe. Um, yeah, it should just be an interesting compilation of stuff there. I got Bjork with Post. I got Slam, the soundtrack. Oh, REM's Around the Sun. Another one of these 20th Century Masters series. This is the Barcase. So a nice compilation of their stuff. Uh, here's a cool find, Disney's Animal Kingdom, the soundtrack. So this is stuff that's played in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Some pretty good, you know, different theme sort of tracks that were written for different areas of the park and stuff. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool find. Don't find stuff like that anymore. Uh, Keith Jarrett, one here from ECM, uh, Standards Volume 2. Keith Jarrett, Gary Peacock, and Jack DeJanet. Always like finding ECM stuff. And the last one from the re this particular trip to the Repurpose Project, anyway, um, Fish with Internal Exile. Fish was uh, 
part of the band Marillion. Um, so this should be sort of in the wheelhouse of prog rock. Maybe it might be a little more poppy. I don't know. Uh, I have not listened to this yet, but pick that one up. All right, this next one is another pickup from Walmart, and this is another one of these, uh, the many faces of compilations or tribute sort of albums. Um, yeah, these are really inexpensive at Walmart. They have a Pink Floyd one, which I highly recommend. So it's uh, a bunch of cover bands covering whatever particular artist is featured. In this case, it's Def Leppard. And then it's also, there'll be two discs of like covers, and then there'll be one disc of other artists that are sort of in that wheelhouse that you may not have heard of before. Um, so yeah, really solid compilations. You get a lot of music if you're, if you're a bargain hunter like I am. You know, there's three CDs here and they're $6.97 a piece. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to diving deep on this one, hearing hearing some, some interesting covers. And the covers aren't you know they're not always straight ahead covers. Uh, the, the the you know they do they do a really good job of putting these compilations together and finding really interesting interesting versions of these songs. So it's 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 a lot of fun and definitely if you're into into a band and you've heard their albums just over and over and over again, it's it's very refreshing to hear something like this that that you know sort of reimagines revisits kind of what these songs are and. And uh, yeah, I really dig these. So pick that one up for the Def Leppard. Um, I got the Metallica one. I got the Pink Floyd one, as I said. So those are out there. I definitely recommend these if you if you want to do a deep dive. And maybe maybe discover some new artists. All right, these next couple are from a local record store that recently opened up in my town called Sunshine Records, and they do have a pretty good sized rack of CDs there. I've been enjoying poking through the CDs when I'm there. I got a copy of Father John Misty's Fear Fun. I have not heard this one before from Father John Misty, but I'm sort of sort of hit or miss on Father John Misty, and I think, but I think I might like this one just judging from the artwork on it. Uh, but yeah, that's Father John Misty. That was five dollars. Most of the CDs there are five dollars. They do have a dollar section as well. And this was cool as well. This was five dollars as well. A two disc. Uh, Compilation of Laurie Anderson with a nice uh, booklet. This is like from the Warner Ar Archive series. Um, so yeah, nice sort of. Uh, you get two two digipacks with, with full of music, and then you also get a nice nice thick booklet with liner notes and photos and stuff all about well, Laurie Anderson in this case. And I do like Laurie Anderson, so that was a really fun find. Okay, next up looks like a stack from the uh, local hospice thrift store, and I had a really good day in there uh, and found a bunch of uh, Hanson fan club releases. And the first one here we got is Stand Up, Stand Up. Uh, so these are sort of, they put out an EP each year for the fan club, and I have never been a member of the fan club, uh, but I was really happy to, happy to find some of these releases because it's the only way to get this music is being in part of the fan club. So... I got that one. It's got uh, five tracks on it. It's titled the Hanson.net Members EP from 2009. Five tracks again as well. That one's in a digipack. And then this one's from the 2010 edition. Five tracks again. This one's titled Facing the Blank Page, Members EP 2011. Five tracks on this one as well. I believe this one, yeah, this one's uh, a DVD. Um, this is Deconstructed Anthem. I think it has a making of making of movie of the of the, the album Anthem, and then some some uh, fan club tracks as well. So I don't look forward to checking that one out. And then I don't know the year on this one, but I'm guessing this is from like 20, 2013. No Sleep for Banditos. This one is still sealed. So whoever was part of the fan club, well, I guess this was the last one they got and they didn't even want it, I guess. But uh, yeah, again, five, five track EP for a fan club member, still sealed. So that was a really good day. I was really happy to find that. Uh, again, I probably, you know, I, I really do like Hanson, but 
probably not enough to be a member of the fan club, so to be able to get these fan club, club releases is really fun. All right, got another stack here from the Repurpose Project. Uh, first one here is kind of an audiobook kind of thing. Uh, Garrison Keeler is a Prairie Home Companion, uh, sort of more stories from Lake Wobegon kind of thing. Um, I do I do enjoy that show. So that that yeah, it's a show and it's also a book series and just yeah, it's fun to hear those that kind of thing. So grabbed that. Uh, this is. I guess somewhat of a local artist, looks like a blues artist, John Tavius Willis with Metamorphosis. It is autographed from 2017. That's pretty cool. There's a, there we go. Check that out. A copy of Arcade Fire's Reflector. Civil War self-titled album. I do really like the Civil Wars. I do have this on vinyl, but uh, it'd be nice to be able to pick it up on CD. I got Iced Earth with the Reckoning. I think I've heard a, heard a good bit of people are into Iced Earth on the vinyl community, so I figured I'd check them out. Um, and then we got James Bay with Chaos and Calm. Interesting, interesting look to it. All right, a couple more here from the uh, Goodwill 50 cent pickups or two for 99 basically. Uh, Arista's Perfect 10 rides again. This is just so 80s that I had to pick it up. Um, it's just pretty much some basic stuff. We got uh, Alan Parsons Project here, Flock of Seagulls, uh, Grateful Dead is on here, Graham Parker, Lover Boy, Billy Ocean. Ray Parker Jr., uh, yeah, just a bunch of bunch of sort of 80s artists, but <laughs> just a, a silly cover and uh, yeah, just a bit of nostalgia there. So I thought I thought I would check that one out. And then this is why I really bought the other one just to be easy. I got do two for 99. This is Car Talks Cartoons, so a bunch of songs about cars that were featured on Car Talk. Um, you know, just com comedic kind of stuff. So I, I definitely dig that kind of thing. Do have a little bit of a car talk collection, I guess you could say. All right, this is another one from Hospice. Unfortunately, it's not complete. It's in a bit of rough shape, but I couldn't leave it behind. Um, this is Stevie Wonder at the close of a century, a four CD box set, and it's in. It's in a jewel case, but it's missing. There's supposed to be a booklet as well. We're missing the booklet, so all we have is the music. Um, all four CDs are here, uh, but yeah, it's in, it's, in, it's in pretty rough shape. I think it's had coffee spilled on it at some point. But there is the you know, lots of tracks on here. Good, good anthology of Stevie Wonder stuff on CD. So for 50 cents, I thought, yeah, we'll go ahead and take it just for just to have the music. Um, this was also from Hospice, uh, but it's music related. This is another one from the fan Hanson Fan Club. This is uh, Made in America, The Making of Anthem. Okay, so that, that EP was actually just an EP, and then this is the Making of Anthem uh, movie they did. I guess this might have the EP in it as well, because there's a DVD and a CD in here. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm a Hanson fan, but not enough of a fan to be in the fan club. So it's cool to find these releases. All right, then it looks like I got some more here from the uh, the hospice thrift store here. We got Usher's 8701. Now I got Kingston Trio Capital Series. So kind of like a greatest hits Kingston Trio kind of thing. I did recently get rid of pretty much all, if not all of my Kingston Trio vinyl. So been picking up a few CDs here and there to fill in some gaps on that. So I'll have some in the collection anyway. Uh, we got Johnny Horton Greatest Hits. Uh, another 20th Century Masters here for Buddy Holly. Uh, Miles Davis and Quincy Alive at Montreux. Classic one. Nice find on CD. Uh, this one's still sealed. BB uh, King, Six Silver Strings. Brandy, Never Say Never. Uh, 
Ace of Base, The Sign. For some reason, I thought I had the Ace of Base albums on CD, but it turns out I didn't. And I guess I had them on cassette, and when I got rid of my cassettes, I didn't have them anymore. So I've been picking them up on CD when I find them. I can typically find them in thrift stores. They sold a lot, and they're not real popular anymore, but I enjoy it. It's a bit of nostalgia for me. So there's Ace of Base. Uh, this was kind of just like a private press kind of thing that I thought I'd check out. The California Golden Overtones with No Boys Allowed. Oh, see, I don't, I don't know exactly what this is. I think it might be kind of like a, a choir kind of thing. A girls choir, but we'll see. Curious enough to find out. Now we got Soul Asylum and the horse they rode in on. And I did find a couple more Hanson things on a second visit. I guess they hadn't put everything out at the first time I had been there. Um, so this is the 2013 members EP, Hanson, The Sound of Light. Although I thought the other one I showed at the end of the last series was 2013 members EP. Uh, but anyway, The Sound of Light members EP. And this one's from 2014. Uh, Music made for mo music made for humans with robots trained by monkeys. <laughs> kind of a long title on this one. Another Hanson EP. All right, and then these last ones are all from Goodwill, and it looks like I have twenty here. So they were ten for three dollars. So I paid six dollars for twenty CDs, basically. Uh, that's that's the Goodwill pricing. If you can find ten, it's best to buy them that way. Um, and I found some really interesting stuff here, um, some Houston hip hop. This is Screw Theory, Volume 4, The Next Millennium. So a bunch of chopped and screwed kind of hip hop kind of stuff, uh, very, very regional to the Houston, Texas area, uh, really collectible kind of stuff. So uh, this was a really cool find. Uh, Cameo Anthology, so pretty cool two CD set of Cameo. You don't, see, you don't see Cameo too often, especially on CD. So that was a fun find. We got to Sleepy Brown with Mr. Brown. We got Common with Like Water for Chocolate. Uh, Fantasia's self titled. Next up, we got Whitney Houston with I Wish You Love, more from The Bodyguard. So, more, more songs uh, from The Bodyguard movie. Still sealed. Uh, we got more hip hop here Gorilla Black with Gorilla Boulevard. Or Gorilla City is the name of it. Compton Boulevard is the picture on the cover there. Um, Erica Badu's Mama's Gun. Now we got DJ Screw and the Screwed Up Click. Screw Tape in the Deck Volume 1. Uh, some more of this original uh, Houston, Houston based hip hop type style that's uh, yeah, very drug influenced and uh, really cool format and it's uh, again very collectible stuff not easy to find uh, maybe maybe easier to find in Houston but not you don't see that around here very often um, this is cocoa with hot cocoa not sure I just like the look of it uh, we got Lloyd Banks with a rotten apple uh, Lady Smith Black Mambazo with a Road to or Long Walk to Freedom, of course, known from Paul Simon's Graceland. Um, Adina Howard Private Show. I haven't heard this Adina Howard before, but I do like I do quite like Adina Howard. Pretty good stuff here. Uh, so So Deaf Bass All Stars Volume Two. I do have Volume One. Comes in a green jewel case. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, uh, some Atlanta-based artists typically. Uh, from the Soso Def label, doing sort of a Atlanta version of Miami bass kind of music. Pretty good, enjoyable stuff. Uh, Heavy D and the Boys, Living Large. Haven't seen that one before. Uh, got Maxwell with Now. Uh, TLC's Ooh on the TLC tip. Did not have a physical copy of that, surprisingly enough. Uh, Street Jams, Electric Funk Volume 1. These are some really good compilations that Rhino put out in the late early 90s. Um, but this one's got, you know, 
Electric Kingdom, Twilight 22, Planet Rock, Africa Mbata, Planet Patrols, Play at Your Own Risk, Clear by Cybertron, Rocket by Herbie Hancock, you know, just some really great sort of instrumental electro kind of hip hop kind of stuff. Yeah, that was a really good find. I do like that kind of stuff quite a bit. Um, a Goody Mob album I hadn't heard before. Goody Mob's Lum Lumberjacks. Yeah, so it's 2004 it looks like. That one That one passed me by. Um, and then last but not least, Mariah Carey's Emotions. Probably the only Mariah Carey I will ever own. I'm not a huge fan of Mariah Carey, uh, but this is a really great classic album by Mariah Carey. The title track, Emotions, is incredible. So yeah, that does it for this mega haul for the month of April 2023. Hope you enjoyed my find. Leave me some comments down below if you have anything to say about anything I showed. Thank you very much for watching. Um, have a great day, a great night. Treat yourself to some music, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.